five months since the Kilpatrick corruption trial began, and now the jury will finally begin deliberations. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell joins us now live from Detroit. Kim, tell us about this big day. There is one thing that everyone seems to agree on when it comes to this trial. They are ready for it to be over. The debate comes when you talk about how it should end, and today the jury could finally start deliberating on that. Jurors have listened to five months of testimony from 87 witnesses. They've seen numerous pieces of evidence from checks to secret recordings. Soon they will work to decide what all of it means. Defense attorneys say the evidence proves nothing. We put our heart and soul into this case and we believe in what we're doing. It's a challenging case for me and challenging case for everybody and it's taken a lot of energy and effort. Yesterday, defense lawyers wrapped up closing arguments. They attacked the credibility of government witnesses. They say their clients are innocent, that the government prosecuted due to public pressure. They say the jury has to see through it. They have to resist all the outside pressures uh, that are out there and that have been brewing in this town for five, six, seven, eight years. Federal prosecutors get the last word. They will do their rebuttal this morning. They say Detroit's former mayor was a bully who just tried to enrich his friends. That Kwame Kilpatrick, his father Bernard Kilpatrick, and contractor Bobby Ferguson are guilty of corruption. Now, when it comes to court, anything could happen, but we expect that the jury will begin deliberations this afternoon here at federal court, and you can count on 7 Action News to bring you any new developments as this case continues. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.